Now, let's take a look at a competition style, Kochi Maki Komi, while we are trying to set up our Morote Senagi. My partner's gonna be right-handed. For this particular version, I'm gonna be on my cross grip here, okay? So I have a good solid cross grip, and I'm gonna try to move him behind me, okay? From previous videos, you can see that a lot of the setups have to do with moving my partner behind me so that I can enter into the throw with no problem. Okay, but now that my partner is aware of that, as we're in this position and I start trying to circle, he's actually leaning back and I can feel that because when I snap the gi, I'm actually getting pulled into the throw. Whereas before when he's light, when I snap the gi, I can feel like I can move. When he sits back though all of a sudden, you'll feel like you're hitting an end range where like you can balance and sway this leg. That's what's gonna allow you to pull yourself into this position. You have to find that balance point though. It is super critical. I don't want to be here, lean back, where I'm balancing with this leg free. I wanna make sure my front leg is free because that's the one I'm gonna need in order to hook his leg with the kouchi. So when we're in this position and I feel like he's there, I'm just gonna bring my foot in so that I can balance on it here. That way I can dive into this position right here. And my elbow is gonna go through so that this hand can come up at the same time and I can hook and I can drive through the position and finish the throw, okay? You're not gonna need to really push him too far because he's already leaning back and due to the nature of the throw, all you really have to do is fall. So when we're in this position, I'm getting him to lean back and we gather everything in together and we finish in a good, solid position. Again, this is done basically when I can't create motion, okay? Sometimes when we come out with our partner, we just start, and the guy just stays there, okay? If I know that's gonna happen, boom, we drop into it. And you can see I caught that sleeve here at the end to get a roll and get my partner flat on his back so I can score any poem. You can also do this with a grip switch, okay? It's one I used a lot in competition. Sometimes when you come out, you get a good solid post, your partner can still play good defense where you feel like you can't hit him. You feel like you can't get in close to him, so you just remove everything. There, and now you can see, here's my opportunity to snap, hook, and then hit the same throw. This way. So, when you're in this position, don't square off and then try to drive through them. That's not what we're doing. We're actually standing to the outside and hooking. Okay, you can see I'm alongside his body. I don't want this foot over here where I can get countered to the rear. I want everything pulling, this, this, this. I want everything pulling down at this angle so that he has to come down to the ground. Okay, and that's the job of the cross grip. So that when you have this funny angle, no, chest to the camera. There, right the foot. Cool. There you go. When you have this angle here, when you bring your foot in, it's still to the outside of his leg, okay? And then you can dive through and you can get a hook on his leg. This is not a technique we use all the time. It's only every so often and only when you feel like you need it. So sometimes we post, we defend, I feel like I can't get much, boom, change the angle, there's the sleeve, hook and drive. You can see how heavy my hand is getting pinned here to the floor. I'm upright, my shoulder's driving through, my leg is posted so I can push off of it. We're in a good solid position. So we don't just wanna do it directly from a cross grip, we can also do it off our post and our switch. One, I move to create the angle, there it is. Snap through the position, snap through. And then up. That's essentially what we're gonna be looking to do when we do our kochi, makikomi, from our Morote Sayanagi grips.